and then another lady did a stitch and she said she had the same thing happen to her with that said deodorant <laughs> i said how about father how about father i took that deodorant from my cabinet and in the trash it went expeditiously me susus the last time i saw you guys i remember telling you guys how bad my second bedroom needed a whole new revamp we already picked up the table i bought from ikea so i was bob the builder and i put the table together it wasn't hard it was actually super easy while roland was at work i decided you know what i'm not really doing nothing let me put this table together and the room is finally coming along but we do have some more stuff that we have to pick up i did buy some stuff from z gallery which i have for pickup so we'll be going to z gallery later on to go pick up the items that i got that's gonna make that room look so pretty but before we even do all that i do need to go get my hair done that's why i have my little turban on we're gonna be going to slade by shady this is my first time going to this hairstylist here in houston i saw her work and i was floored and i couldn't wait for her to touch my head now the company i'm gonna be installing the hair from is some xrs beauty you guys know i love xrs beauty so much they have the best lace okay the best lace so i'm gonna be so excited installing this wig i did get their crystal lace and as you guys know xrs crystal lace is different from regular lace because it literally is so thin that it melts into your scalp it looks like real life scalp so i'm very excited to be working with this hairstylist i'm gonna link xrs beauty's wig in the description down below so you guys could go ahead and check them out i have a couple of their wigs and one thing i would definitely say is that they do last a very long time they are an investment
Hey guys, so I just finished doing my eyebrows and it looks so good. My hair looks amazing too. Slay by Shady did my hair. It looks so good. And this is XRX Beauty's wig and it looks gorgeous, honey. It looks gorgeous. Anyways, oh, it's loud. Um, it's 2.57. My appointment for my nail got moved to three o'clock because my hair took longer than I thought. Well, it didn't take longer but I still would like had to drive. So I just moved it to three o'clock and I went to go get my brows done instead. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I don't know how far away Z Gallery is. Depending on how far away it is, it's gonna be wh where I go first. Oh, is that City Center? So I'll probably go to Z Gallery like first. No, I'll go to Z Gallery after. I'm gonna go to Sephora first and then I'm gonna go to Ulta and to go pick up what I need and then we're gonna go to Z Gallery and then we're gonna go home because I'm ready to go home. I'm gonna go in right now. <sighs> it's been a long day but we moved. In my car i just finished getting my nails done absolutely stunning positively gorgeous i am about to head to excuse me ma'am i'm about to head to sephora because i don't think i will be able to make it to galleria today i mean not galleria z gallery This is such a blind spot. <laughs> I won't be able to make it to Z Gallery because it's already like later in the day and I, I really don't feel like going to that side of town. So I'll just go there tomorrow. I've been out all day, but I feel absolutely pretty. Once I got my nails done, I was like, ah, she's back. I feel like myself again. I haven't felt like myself since I took off my nails. I don't, I don't know why. Hold on, y'all. Then my skin breaking out, yeah. It's cause Mother Nature is here. When my period is here, she's so brutal to me. Like she's so mean. My skin messy, and then like I'm put on glossy. My skin is always messed up when Mother Nature comes, and then like my um my cravings is out the roof. That's normally like the telltale sign for me. Whenever like i'm craving food i normally wouldn't crave sorry that i'm driving like a grandma y'all but yeah i just know how to be okay whenever i'm craving food that i normally wouldn't crave that's normally like the telltale sign that my period is about to start yeah i'm glad i got all those things done because i couldn't i didn't feel like going out taking pictures nothing because my nose wasn't done, my hair wasn't done, but now I feel absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm be cute. Oh, sorry y'all. I'm be cute and take pictures and record some reels maybe. My camera definitely just fell, but we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna go to Z Gallery tomorrow. I'm just gonna go to Sephora to go pick up my order and then I'm gonna go to Ulta to go pick up my other order and then just head home. I just got back. 
Actually, no, I lied. I didn't just get back home. I got home about an hour and a half ago, two hours. It took me a minute to kind of get settled in. So my home. I ain't picked nothing up from Z Gallery. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow because honestly, by the time I was done with my nails, it was already getting late and I'm just like, I'm not going to the Z. I'm not. So we're gonna go there tomorrow. But I did wanna show you guys what I picked up. I haven't washed my face. I just took off my makeup because I needed my skin to breathe, okay? So I took off my makeup. So let me sh first show you guys what I ordered. I think Sephora should go first. So, of course, Sephora had their Cyber Monday sale. So, I bought some stuff. Some re-ups on my fancy glosses. Rare Beauty's blush. I have been hearing raves about it. So, I picked that up. And I also picked up this new mask that was one of, like, the top new hot trending themes on Sephora. So, I'm like, why not? It was, like, 12 bucks. So, and the review on it was really good um is this clay mask called ns free not sure if you can see it but it's called ns free it was like 12 bucks normally it was 15 i think or 17 and i got this for 12. it's a pore clearing clay mask two times with super volcanic clusters i'm gonna use this tonight for sure i cannot wait to try it i'm gonna let you guys know how it is tomorrow morning and then I picked up, I feel like I, oh, God, God. I picked up this Rare Beauty blush. I want to swatch it. So this one is called Joy. This looks so pretty on dark skin. I was like, I have to have it. So is this like peachy color? Let me see. Swatch it for you guys. Let's see. Looks like that. Let me tap my screen because it's tracking long. Looks like this. Very, very pretty. Like it's so pretty. You wouldn't use as much as I'm using, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. I am so in love with like liquid. Um, but yeah, it's this like beautiful peachy color soft pinch dewy blush so pretty so i got the joy and then i guess i'm gonna swatch the other one and this other one i got is believe oh this is beautiful i know this was gonna be gorgeous i knew this was gonna be gorgeous hello do you see the color hello I, i'm gonna just use a little bit Mm -mm. let me see i'm gonna swatch it for y'all see if it's no this oh, no this is gorgeous um hello Do you... i'm gagging look at that child this is pretty okay well, I'm glad I picked that one up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. So those are the two blushes that I picked up from Rare Beauty. I picked up my Fussy Gloss from Fenty. You guys know what Fussy looks like, so I don't think I really need to swatch it for you guys. So I got this one. Oh, let me get my face out of it. There we go. I got this Fussy Gloss. From Fenty. Mine was already expired. Well, I don't know if it was expired, but it was definitely done. I need to even, I need to like redo like my entire um I'm tired, so don't mind me. I need to do like my entire lip roster because I think some of them are old. And I got this mauve wives. Let me see. I want to try it on. I love glosses. It's like this baby pink color. I'm sure it's going to be like absolutely stunning. I have all of the, well not all of it, but I have almost all the colors. 
I was like, I need something like something to balance this out. Cause I got this um lip from Makeup Revolution. So now I have this color and this color. So pick that up. And then I had to re-up on my contour stick i've had my contour stick for a minute from fancy and it was getting kind of embarrassing because it was time for me to get a new one <laughs> so that's what i got and then when i went in i wanted to find like a good vitamin e oil because the tiktok i was watching the girl said get vitamin e oil but i'm gonna take this off i wanna kind of looks good let me rub it in so it doesn't look as right so it looks more like subtle. And then I'm just gonna wipe around it to give like a fake lip line. I wanna show you guys, oh yeah, let me show you guys the Makeup Revolution one before we dip out. I mean, before I show you guys the Sephora. So I got this on Makeup Revolution a while back. No, this is the blush. This is the blush. Oh, I could mix it, it a little bit with this one to give it like a really, really nice peachy color. Yes, this was the one. So I needed something to kind of match this. I really like this one, but I really wanted like a really pinky color and I couldn't find anything. So got that one. Look at this color. This one Makeup Revolution, this is Peach Delight. Look how pretty that is. I need to put on my second light so y'all could like really see it. So pretty. And this one is called Peachy Delight. I'm gonna link it. And the more you add, the more peachy it is. Gorgeous. Let me move back so y'all can see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So yeah. Those are all like the lip and blush that I got. So then I also picked up this Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. Heard this is really good. Heard this is actually really, really good. And then I looked up the reviews and everybody's like, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so good. It's so amazing. It brightens up your skin. And then the women in sephora was like yeah you should get that it's really good i'm gonna try it out it said it makes your skin glow in a week we shall see about that we shall see about that okay <laughs> so that's what i got from the fora so then i went to autumn.com they were having sales on their lashes and you guys know I need to take breaks from lashes because if I want to have, if I want to get older and have healthy lashes, I can't keep getting extensions. Especially not every two weeks. Can't be, keep, can't do that. Cannot. So I picked up this Kiss Fall Scara. I think I'm gonna do it tonight. What time is it? It's 10. I might. I don't know. But I picked this up. It's called a Foscara. I bought two of it. Because they were on sale. I have something like this that I got from Amazon. I think I showed you guys. But I don't like the glue. So it. I don't know. I wasn't too crazy about it. So I picked that up. And then I picked up these lashes. They're like really like just chill lashes nothing too crazy this one is mplo1 and then i picked up this one this is the mplo3 this is the avant-garde this one is the first one was preta porter this one is avant-garde and she is given she is given oh gosh i love makeup <laughs> she's so gorgeous absolutely stunning it looks so good and then this last one that i picked up is called Hot couture gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it looks so good 
So those are the three lashes I picked up and I picked up a pimple patch while I was there because whenever I break out, I'm not supposed to be popping my pimple. I spent way too much money on my skin. I invest so much money into my skin that I don't need to be putting more dark spots in it. So yeah. After that, I swung by Trader Joe's. So yeah, I was on TikTok and this girl was saying how like this items helped her to clear her skin. So I was like, what do I have to lose? My skin is breaking out a little bit because my cycle is here. So yeah, that's what's going on. Anyways, I went to Trader Joe's. I picked up tea tree oil. This is 100% tea tree and it's for topical. So I picked that up. And then she said you should get the vitamin E oil blend. I'm going to use this to actually shave my face tonight because my, my hair is growing back and... Yeah, I probably should have went for my laser treatment, but I canceled it. And then I picked up Tom's Unscented, no aluminum, no paraben deodorant. And now you guys might ask me, Susan, why did you go and get you a deodorant? Didn't you have that secret deodorant in your shower routine? And I said, yes, guys, I did until this morning when there was a TikTok that I saw of a lady that used that said deodorant and said she had a lump under her arm. And then another lady did a stitch and she said she had the same thing happen to her with that said deodorant. <laughs> I said, I'm a father. I'm a father. I took that deodorant from my cabinet and in the trash it went expeditiously because it's not me the devil is gonna play games with so <laughs> once I go pick this up honestly I would get Donna Karen because that's like the best aluminum free high-end deodorant but it's like $35 mm -mm, I spent too much money so I'll probably get it another time but people in the comments like oh i used that deodorant i was feeling a little lump under my underarm <laughs> i said the devil is a lie <laughs> no in the trash it went so i picked those up from trader joe's and then i went to Target and i picked up new razors to show up the hair on my skin and some dial soap which was what the girl used which i'm going to be using and is the gold antibacterial dial soap she said all she used is dial soap alongside the tea tree oil and the vitamin e oil and that's how her skin looked the way it does and i saw i saw the transformation so i believe my good sis so i will be doing that tonight yeah i'm tired I would put on my lashes for you guys, but ooh, my lashes look pretty though and long and healthy. It's thin, definitely thin, but it is long. It is long, it's just thin. Um, I wanted to put my lashes on for you guys, but I might just do it tomorrow before I head out, um, depending on what time we wake up. <gasps> That's hard. I'm tired. I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to Yeah, I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to do no lashes for myself I just want to go lay down and put this hidden pad on my stomach because My cramps was trying to take me out My cramps was really tussling like no, I hate that like each month your cycle is different Because it's like what did I do to deserve that like? I'm a good person, God. What did I do to be deserving this type of cramp? Alone, please. Take it easy. Take it easy on your daughter, God, please. Cause that this cramp, it's like dag. Like what? That y'all are going crazy. Like, that's no, absolutely not. Moment of conversation. So like I said, I've like cleaned out my closet and I'm trying to like get rid of stuff that no longer serves the woman I am now. So it is taking me a little bit longer than I expected, but 
hopefully I can take all the pictures that I need to know what I need to sell stop putting the pictures up on the website so I can sell it now the items I'm going to be selling are most of them are brand new because I'm a shopaholic I have issues I love buying stuff and now they don't fit me and I'm no longer in that phase in my life so I'll probably have to sell them for like 10 15 dollars the most everything's gonna go for is 20 bucks because they just gotta go I also want to get rid of wigs but that's for not wigs will always sell whenever but the clothes they just ha they have to go um and like fall came really fast so I'm trying to catch up on buying fall outfits and styling them and taking pictures so it's taking me a little bit longer to get back into the groove of things but I'm gonna get there trust me trust trust and believe that hello guys so we are at city center I was parallel parking now one thing about the DMV you can't get your license unless you're not a parallel park so Parallel parking is actually pretty easy for me. It's crazy because when I first took my test, I couldn't park. I couldn't parallel park for nothing. Now, eh, eh, sticking tongue out and everything. Like, I'm gonna back it up. You gonna scoot it in? Have your hazard light on, girl. Anyway, so I just got to Z Gallery. I'm actually parked right next to it. I'm about to go in and then I'm going to walk around a little bit. I haven't been to City Center in such a long time. I actually used to work at the Sephora here at City Center and it's crazy being here. So I'm going to go there. I also want to go to H&M if there's still an H&M here. H&M used to be right there. I don't know. Maybe they moved it. I want to go to H&M, see if I can find me some cute stuff to just add to my closet because it is time to get a little cold and I want to start to build like my my closet you know for the fall winter time because all I have is summer clothes like I bought a lot of summer clothes and I don't really have that much like winter clothes and I need to so I'm about to go into Z gallery and go get my items I went to go put my stuff in the car so it could just like sit there. I'm about to go, I wanna see Lululemon, see if I can see some stuff on sale. And then I do wanna go ahead and get me a sample of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Cause I saw Tony Olaye use it and her skin look good. I said, girl, look at you influencing. All right. Ooh. I'm sweating. So I'm about to head home. There is no H&M at City Center anymore. I don't know when they changed that. No H&M, which is crazy because like H&M has been there forever. So I wonder why they moved it, but I don't feel like going to H&M if that makes sense. So there's really no H&M in Katy, which I don't understand why. Cause like Katy is so far away from Houston that I don't, know why they wouldn't have a H&M in the Katy area but yeah there's no H&M here you know what bump all this I'm getting on the highway it's time to go it's time to go because y'all not driving like I got sense um yeah so there's no H&M in Katy so I couldn't get what I well it's not like I really wanted anything I was just gonna go shopping to just get some more like fall clothes because I did get this cute top from H&M and it looks so pretty like so pretty oh god this traffic i should have left earlier oh my gosh i do this to myself i do this to myself mm -mm. that's crazy oh nah i'm hopping off <laughs> 
they're taking back road because ain't no way i'm what do you see the traffic nah it's a dub it's a dub i'm not doing that but yeah i i can't believe they don't have h and m here h and m here in katie which doesn't make sense because you would think that they would have an h and m because it's like Katy is a big metroplex. Not metroplex, but Katy is a big area. Like a lot of people live in Katy. So for them, let me turn y'all down because I feel like it's too bright. And editing this is going to piss me off if it's too. This is too dark. Never mind. Never mind. We're just going to do what we got. But yeah, so I'm not. I'm just going to like turn it this way. I'm just going to. Just stick to what I have. I'll probably like look online because I know like there's always sales. There's always sales going on like closer to the end of the year. And they always have like blowouts. Thank thanks, squirrel. Thank you. Um, they always have like blowout sales and whatever towards the end of the year. So I could probably snag some stuff because I got some cute stuff and I got them for a pretty good price, like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, fourteen dollars. If it was somewhere else, they'll be charging like 30 bucks for clothes that you guys don't even spend $5 to make. Like, what? That's crazy. So, yeah, I'm probably going to also check Shein because I don't know why I always forget to check Shein when it comes to like buying clothes because I need to get back in my bag. I need to be taking pictures. Like, I really just, I don't know, guys. I don't know sometimes especially like with my my walk with God I just don't you have to really remember that you know you are in this career field because God put you here um because sometimes I just focus on just God like I just don't sometimes I lose the desire to even like take pictures and all that type of stuff and I'm just like your content creator God wants you to be in this field, you know, and you don't know whose life you're impacting and how you're moving, changes you're making. You don't know that. And God could be using it for his glory. So you really just can't abandon what you worked so hard to build. And um, I know there's a there's a verse in the Bible that, you know, God doesn't like a lazy man. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to be lazy. So yeah i need to get back into the swing of things because i cannot um i cannot abandon something that i worked hard on and yeah like i was you know i was like i'm gonna focus on youtube and i really trip too much about instagram but instagram is also another platform so i need to be creating content i love fashion so i need to continue doing my fashion and creating makeup real i'm trying to get my skin to be back to what it used to be i just need to make sure i i change my diet because i do eat bad self-control is definitely a huge thing when it comes to your diet so i'm just trying to like just change my diet be better with what i eat not feel like i have to consume everything <laughs> and just having self-control when it comes to food so once my skin starts clearing, clearing up i am gonna start doing makeup reels on my instagram and i think that there's almost like this thing where you have um, anxiety of failing so you don't try at all which is not good because like how are you gonna succeed if you don't try how how could you fail if you don't try like literally how could you how could you fail if you don't try failure comes from trying and try 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 until you get it so that's what i have to remind myself is like try 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 until you get it like nobody becomes successful overnight they tried until they figured it out and once they figured it out they were like okay that's what i need to do so i can't be scared of trying like i have to give it my i have to give it the best shot that i possibly can and not be so scary you know so yeah I have to make sure I'm focusing and doing what God called me to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So I have to make sure I'm obeying him. And if he's like, you have to do this, then I have to do it. Like even like millennial talks, there's been times where I've gone back and forth with Roland. Like, should we do it? Should we not do it? Should we do it? We know it's our calling. We know it's our calling. But it's like, you sometimes you get so scared of your calling. You get so scared of what God has called you to do. And that fear makes you disobedient to God. You know, Jonah was called to go preach the, the word to this nation to tell them that they should turn away from their sin. 
because God's judgment is coming on them. And Jonah disobeyed God and not do it. And that's how he landed in the stomach of the of the of the well. Like I hate Houston people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cutting. Houston people really they irritate me. They they aggravate me. You see me merging over. So in your in your brain, you're like, oh wow, she's merging. Let me speed up. Like let's let's be serious. And now you want to slow down. So what was the point of speeding up? I don't understand. What like are you serious? Anyways, yeah. So you know Jonah was in the stomach of the well because he disobeyed God. Eventually, after after he decided to listen to God, that's when oh, um, after he decided to listen to God, that's when um, the the storm stopped. So that's a that honestly is a word in its own. Like if you're going through something and you know you're supposed to be doing something that God has called you to do and you're disobeying God and you feel like there's a storm around you there's so much chaotic stuff happening around you it's because you're not obeying God and God is not going to seize that storm until you obey him and do what he tells you to do so I have to understand that God is putting not putting because that's not work God has put certain things in my heart for me to do and I have to obey him and carry out those tasks because until I carry out those tasks I'm, he's not gonna open the next level for me so um, I have to just make sure like I'm grounded in myself you know I'm the firstborn I don't really have somebody that I could call on or a cousin that I could like get advice from all that type of stuff everything that I'm doing is is by me learning you know like me learning by myself going through these motions by myself figuring this stuff out by myself and it's hard being the firstborn because like a lot of the challenges you're gonna go through <laughs> you're gonna have to be the first to go through it. that's why they call I they call firstborns generational breakers I mean general generational curse breakers because we're breaking generational curses and it's not easy not at all it's not easy but i know that god has placed certain things in my heart for me to do and i have to do it i have to be a representation for christ and you know yeah that's all i wanted to say guys i just went through this whole thing <laughs> Oh my gosh, traffic, I'm going to cut through. I'm going to take a different way. This traffic is bad. I'm going to take a different way. It's getting dark already, 4.15. Oh, God, give me strength. This car, yeah. Funny enough, a Mercedes, like, when it needs gas, <laughs> you're going to know. Let me put gas on this car. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God, for providing for me. Yeah, so, by the almighty grace of God, Millennial Talks will be back. I'll get back to posting fashion content, fashion reels. I cannot give up. I cannot, I cannot psych myself out, because that's the devil. I remember I was watching Passion of Christ. And it literally, it, it, the analogy of how the devil is, now whenever I think, I'm like, wow, that's how the devil is, right? So the devil is like the mastermind behind all the, the evil thoughts. Because the devil doesn't attack you. No, he attacks your mind. This is your machine. This is your computer. So he's not going to attack you. He's going to attack that mind. And because he's attacking your mind, it's going to restrict you from doing certain things because he's attacking that mind, the machine, the computer. So it's always important to like have a clear mind, have a clear mind, pray. Like people don't understand there's power in prayer, bro. There's power in prayer. But always repent before you pray. Because there is a word in the Bible that says that God does not listen to prayers of the sinner. I'm just going to be real with you. He doesn't. If you're sitting in your sin and you haven't repented and turned away from your sin, God does not. He doesn't listen to your. He doesn't listen to your prayer. And I've never. Funny enough, 
I guess because like, I've never like really read read the Bible like really went in depth you know reading the Bible I never knew that God doesn't listen to your prayer when you're sinning so me <laughs> when I was in the world and sinning I'm over here praying for what God ain't listen to that you're not hearing anything I had to say but respectful so because if I'm living in sin why should you listen to my prayer it's almost like if you disobey your mom or disobey your parents and you don't listen to them and you ask them for something why should they give it to you so don't don't be living in sin and praying because you're just wasting your time sad but facts you know sad but facts so yeah this drive man that's why i don't like coming around here it's 418 don't y'all get on fork at 5 30 why are you guys on the road <laughs> yeah too many people moving to houston i don't like that a lot of y'all moving to second like, let me stop playing move here i don't care what's my own i just don't like the traffic but i just need to make sure i'm like on the road when there's no traffic all right so i just got home and i'm about to do my mini photo shoot with roland i feel like i need to cut more layers into this wig but i don't care about that right now but i might do my photo shoot with roland i'm trying to figure out how how i want it to look i have an idea but this hair is so pretty like i'm using comb to comb it and it's just like the curls is still intact. This is the same curls my stylist put in from yesterday. And it's still intact. Like, hello? So pretty. Okay, so I'm, I think I know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear this House of CB top that I got. Let me see. I'm going to wear this top. I'm going to think if I want to have my hair halfway up eh, nah I'm gonna leave it down I'm just gonna make sure it looks pretty but yeah that's what I'm gonna wear for this photo shoot I'm gonna jump into it real fast cuz I want to go ahead and start like decorating the other room Oh, she's such a princess. I love it. I'm going to put it in my room. How gorgeous. Hold on, let me turn this light down. So, yeah, this is cute. I kind of want it to be like more like, I don't know, whimsical. So I could do like a half up, half down moment going on. I think that that's cute. Let me see how it would look. Very, this is very me. <laughs> very me. I'm like really loving the woman I'm turning into as I'm getting older. I'm more sure of myself. I know the woman I want to be and I am evolving into her. It doesn't matter what background you grew up in. It doesn't matter if you don't have a lot. You have to literally will that into your life. I know I'm going to be successful and I'm going to be a millionaire. I, say, I used to say that all the time as a kid. I'm going to be a millionaire. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know I am like a legit millionaire, like having in my bank account type millionaire. Don't know how that's going to happen, but shoot. Faith is is what you see, what you don't see, but you believe. And I believe I'm going to be a millionaire one day. Don't know the cons, forget the whys Do you know why?